So for this specific project, um, it's a wooden birdhouse that you see was obviously replicating a trailer. And we used some different recycled materials to put on the sides. So where I left off is I'm supposed to be installing a solar panel to the very top of this. So this wire that I'm holding is my regular a regular patio light uh, so it's broken open so that way I can just use the solar panel the battery and the light device but the problem was when I opened it up there was not enough solder that was added to one of these connections which would probably be just say like a negative I'll have to use one of these that I got from Michaels from the art store as a professional soldering tool and it comes with its own solder and it uh, has two points with it. So now you see locate where I obviously want the light, which would probably be somewhere by the doorway or the holes. Taking a look at there's the solar panel, there's the light, and where would I want my battery to be? Um, somewhere that I can access it that might not disturb the birds too. Uh, basically I'm just trying to find where the best position to, to place this. Uh, so there should be a solar panel added somewhere centered um, where the light is accessible um, and the batteries would still be accessible so that way the battery can be changed. Um, so what I try to think of is if I was to put it Without making any cuts, I would just locate where I obviously want the light, which would probably be somewhere by the doorway or the holes. Um, taking a look at, there's the solar panel, there's the light, and where would I want my battery to be? Um, somewhere that I can access it that might not disturb the birds too. Okay, so that part's done. Um, now we're going to go ahead and just create a space for this. Now I can put it somewhere in the center, which I think is the best, because if I put it towards the end or the front, I don't know what direction people are... I don't know what direction they're going to be having uh, the birdhouse uh, pointed in the direction of the center. I hope, I hope that's a good place for you. So I'm just lining it up, I want it right, right in the middle pretty much, and I'm just going to put it right behind the tie. I'm also going to cut uh, a line that's the perimeter of, of the uh, actual panel, and cut that out, starting with cutting that. Watching for my wires. This whole piece will come out. If I can get it out, I can proceed to include it really well. Which is a good thing. That's a very good thing. I think it's very good. Very good. Really struggling.
There, so that's the next step. That's where we're left with um, for this step. We, we're just gonna cut it open um, and slide the service pen device in. Jigsaws or the little puppet hooks and stuff. Plus, I don't want to be pulling on the wires too hard again. I have to keep in mind, um, just paying attention that these don't disconnect because I don't want to have to do that twice. So it's just about being gentle. And uh, and when these do go in, it has to be at a place that could be accessible. So I'll, I'll have to make some kind of opening as well. It could be a, a bottom part for cleaning this or something. And this can always fill in the gaps. From what I cut, if I overcut, um, I like to reuse any materials that I have. So when it drops in, we're also going to have the light um, right in front of this, these holes here. And perfectly that hole. Okay. So that means putting it in first, angling it so I can Imagine how I'm going to drop in the battery, and I would rather drop in the battery. Try not to touch it because it is hot. Uh, if you have, um, if you're okay with uh, sensitivity, then uh, it's not so bad. It doesn't hurt that much. But if you're not used to it, it can hurt. Yeah. Just gonna add some more glue. I think I need it. And at the bottom. 
them. Use a dripping technique in order to get the areas I cannot reach. that um, that concludes just the battery portion so in order to see that um, I kind of put it this way it's the best I can do for you all Okay, so continuing with the glue and, and now attaching the light. So let's see if we can protect. Okay, well, from that, I am done. Um, nothing else has to be made. Um, I'm just going to charge it up and then show you guys what it looks like when it's done.